again. Friends, these last two days, we talked about animals with feathers, animals with fur. And today we're going to talk about scales, but we're also going to talk about shells. So let's start off with scales first. What is a scale, friends? Some animals are covered in scales, which are small plates that protect their skin. And they're placed right next to each other. A lot of these animals have a pattern on their skin because of these plates. This type of animal covering, friends, it helps protect them. So reptiles like the crocodile have very rough scales to protect them from the sun, from when they're in the water, yeah, from the heat. Mm -hmm. But fish, like this guy right here, has very smooth scales. They're always wet. Why would they always be wet? Well, because they live underwater. So they need their scales to be nice and smooth so they can glide through the water. Mm -hmm. I want you to join me as one of my friends comes to explain to us what these scales are and why they have them. Come on. Lizards, snakes, and fish have very different coverings than humans, rabbits, birds, and other animals. They have scales. Scales are also made up of the same thing our fingernails are made up of. Snake scales are not slimy like most people think. They are smooth and can be made of very beautiful colors. Snake skin has scales to help protect the snake if it were to get attacked or rub up against something rough. Their scales are like armor on a knight. Lizards also use their skin in this way. As lizards and snakes grow, they must shed their skin and grow new skin. Their scales cannot grow bigger and that is why they must grow new ones. Fish also have scales. They do not shed their skin like snakes and lizards. Their scales grow as they get bigger. Look at this fish called a tarpon. An older tarpon scales can be as big as your hand. So there you have it, friends. These animals have those scales that are rough or dry or nice and smooth and wet so that they can survive in their world. It also helps protect them from other animals who maybe try to bite into them or like the snake who's wandering around and maybe will hit a rough patch, like a rough rock. Ouch. Have you ever been scratched by a rock? It hurts, but the snake has a scale to protect it. We also have animals. It's not on my poster, but with a shell. Do you see that? That's a snail. And the snail, when it travels, it goes out that way but it can retreat inside the shell for protection. Again, if an animal tries to come and bite the shell, it's going to hit something really hard and it's not going to like it. So they might just leave them alone. We also have, look, look at this, it's a lobster. And the lobster has a shell all over its soft body. The body is so soft that it needs a hard covering around it to protect it from other animals who try to eat it or from the rough areas where it walks by on the ocean floor. Also have our sea turtles and the sea turtle has that shell to protect their sensitive soft body. Yeah. They can retreat their little arms and legs and maybe even their little heads in case that there's any danger. And that shell is really hard. That really protects them from the sun, from other animals, even from rough waters. Look at how they swim underwater. Mm -hmm. Well, friends, I hope you had fun today learning about this new type of animal covering. And I'm going to turn you around to my desk so that we can do our activity today. Come on.